Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Ha, Rakakwa, Dash, Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well, and salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and sincerity. All right, and this is a video uh, going viral. All right, so called Negro, Negro woman. All right, um, boasted and all happy because her kids getting taken away by uh child protective services all right it's on world Hop, world star hip-hop okay now whether this is um real or not or what she's uh set up to be uh to do this all right as uh she states uh all seven of her kids been taken away all right which a uh, she has seven kids um she looks good to have seven kids all right but that's neither here nor there all right but um that's ultimately the plans of the so-called white man for you Negro, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American women, all right? The, uh, hey, they took the strong man out of the household, all right? And that's ultimately so you can be vulnerable and be a sitting duck, and they can do what the hell they want to do with you, all right? And the first scripture I want to get is Mark chapter 3 and verse 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house, man. And the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, all right, men, been driven out of the household by way of gifts from the so-called white man and his system, man. All right? That's why the uh, scriptures say in Isaiah 31, woe to them who run to Egypt for help, all right? And this is a, particularly the so-called white, um, so-called black woman, all right? It's a lucky. All right. Hey, they run to the, the system. All right. They run to the um, the courts. All right. For financial assistance, man. And, you know, and ultimately kick, kick the man out of the household, man. You know, and that's where you have our women become whores. All right. And, and sleep with men after men. All right. Have multiple children from uh, multiple men. All right. All, all, all for the financial gain of the system, man. Well, that was a setup and that was a trap and a snare from the so-called white man. And this is uh, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. All right. And um, the so-called white man today play, plays the modern day Pharaoh. All right. As this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt pertaining to Revelations 11 verse 8. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. All right. And horses just symbolizes power, man. And the power is in their hands, according to Job 9 to 24. All right. You know, um, hey, they, their, their whole system, their money and everything. All right. Because ye are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, man. They don't seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and um, that's because, hey, a gift destroys the heart, all right? And they've been taking gifts from the so-called white man, and they kicked the, uh, the, the, uh, the Israelite male out of the household, all right? So now their houses are being spoiled, all right? And, and, and this is ultimately the plan of the so-called uh, white man to take your children, all right, by way of H.R., it's a bill called HR six 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 six. All right, and that's why this whole uh, pan this whole pandemic thing has been set up. All right, ultimately to come after the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American men, women, and children. All right, without that covering of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and and, and the vaccine them, man, ultimately uh, chip them. All right, and it's back at Mark three and twenty eight. Verily I say unto you, all sins, Salakia. Back at uh, Mark three and twenty seven. I read it again. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house, man. And the so-called white man knows that. All right. I'm going to let the uh, video continue out and play. All right. But I want to get um, one more scripture. And it's Isaiah 32 and 9. And it reads, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech, man. So you want to hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the way you uh, hear those words is through his men, through his mouthpiece, all right? That's set up on the highways and byways, all right, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right, start with the apostles of Great Millstone and those who follow that umbrella, man, all right? <clears throat> Fall up under that umbrella, all right? But rise up, ye women that are at ease, man. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American are at ease, man, by way of those gifts, by way of the system that's been set up, all right? Um, like I stated before, all right? But, hey, this is the Lord reaching his hand out to you, man, extending his hand out to you by way of his men, letting you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American women know, hey, don't be careless, man. You know, understand that you've been uh, set up and been, it, it, it's a trap, and it's verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, 
for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come, man. And the outcome or whatever the plan is in the back or the subconscious of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American woman, all right, thinking that she's going to get some type of gain out of this system um, and kicking her um, her man, her, 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 uh, her covering, right, her head, her lord out of the household. Hey, she has to understand that's a setup, man. All right, but hey, those women who's who who does that, hey, they're troubled, man. All right, that judgment is coming, man, for you doing so, for you uh, kicking that man out of the household, for you disrupting authority over the man, man. All right, the judgment is here because now you are sitting duck. Now you're sitting here uh, alone. All right, and this woman here is uh, clearly boasting and happy that her kids got taken. All right, which is kind of strange. All right, for um, a woman. All right. Especially a so-called Israel, a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women. All right, they're not uh, as 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 uh, wicked as they are. All right, they have compassion when it comes to their children. All right. <clears throat> so whether this is uh true or not, all right, um, to each his own. But this Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifty-six: the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, man. And you see that now today because we go through the curses, man. All right. So hey, it's, it's a balance with this thing, man. Hey, our people are exceedingly wicked, man. You know, they, they surpass the wicked, the wickedness of the, 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 the true wicked. All right. Her eyes shall be evil toward her husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. So her eyes shall be evil towards her son, her daughter, her husband. All right. And, 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 and this is uh, if this woman um, got her seven kids taken away. Hey, she she she's uh, up under those curses, man. As many of you uh, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women are, man, you straight up demons, man, and wicked as hell. All right. And you got to get put down, man. It's verse 57. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. And toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. Wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee and thy gates, man. And they being distressed, man. All right. You being distressed now that that strong man has been taken out of the household. All right. And um, let me go to Deuteronomy. 28 and 57 and bring up uh, she shall eat them all right because we know hey when it comes down to the famine hey you women might hey you women gonna uh some some of you negro latino native native american women are gonna come to that uh state of cannibalism man all right just like these edomites man all right that's that judgment, man, because you want to be like them so bad, man. You take part in a system and you help you help them uh, castrate and um, despise the so-called black, Latino, and Native American men. And um, go to that eat, for she shall eat, devour, burn up, feed, to eat, to devour, to consume, to slay. All right, so in verse 57... Hey, for she shall eat them for one of all things secretly, man. She shall slay them, you know. She shall devour them to be wasted. To, she shall destroy them, man. All right? She's not teaching. She's not uh, raising a child the way he should go. Roughly paraphrasing, as the scriptures say, giving them wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. All right? The woman has been deprived knowledge, been deprived wisdom. All right? And that's the uh, the importance and why it's imperative for the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man to, to be in the household. All right, we're in in the in the in the right mind state in the household. All right, not with the westernized mind st state. All right, because he he's he he will be no good good as well. All right, but I'll let this video continue out. That's all I got on that. But yes, like I said, they came and got them bitches. <laughs> Shay, they gone. Them bitches gone. Them bitches is gone. All seven of them. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party, hey, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party, hey. <sighs> okay, y'all, for real, I'm finna get the green. They took my kids. <sighs> Girl, yes, them kids was bad as fuck anyway. Fuck them kids. 
Veronica, for real. Fuck them kids, girl. Fuck them kids. I keep letting my shit go out. What's up, cuz? They came and got them kids. What's up, cuz? Delilah. What's up, Keith? Cuz? Dog. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> 